So I don't know about you guys, but I haven't been too excited to make any phone videos lately. I don't know if it's because I'm indoors and I'm constantly on a computer or, or laptop, but there just hasn't been enough fire there. You know, things are kind of all the same. But I saw the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra and I kind of got excited again. I know it's gonna look a lot like the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. It's, it's pretty much the exact same design. The only difference is that the cutout for the cameras is gonna be bigger, stick out more because the sensors inside of it are going to be bigger. But I'm really curious what Samsung's going to do with the S Pen because right now, today, that's basically their only move. Like everything about a smartphone is pretty much the same. The only defining feature of the Note series is the S Pen. This is what makes it so unique compared to every other single smartphone that's on the market. I saw this video by Jimmy is Promo and I saw a cursor on the display of the Note 20 Ultra. And that got me thinking like, what are they gonna do with this? Is this gonna become a mouse for your Galaxy device? Or is this gonna provide a unique way of giving you more information? Like imagine, you're browsing a net, you don't have to click anything, you just put the cursor over a word and all of a sudden a definition pops up. Maybe instead of like clicking to get a second menu on an app before you open it, you can just hover the S Pen over it and quickly go to a specific function instead of opening up your app first then going to that function later. You can do this with physical clicks, but you can't do this while the S Pen is hovering in the air. So that will be kind of nice to see how they make this feature useful. Now, it's gonna have a Snapdragon 865. A lot of people are saying it might have the newer 865 plus, and that's a good thing because Samsung needs to make the Note series more powerful than the S series again. This has kind of been an issue for the past couple of years because the processors inside these Note phones have always been the same. And, and when the Note series started, it always had the better processor. So I'm crossing fingers, we're gonna see a plus version instead. The other thing that really excites me is that it's gonna get the same display as the iPhone 12. Samsung has these brand new AMOLED panels that have really good power consumption, 15% less or better power consumption than the current displays that are on the Galaxy S lineup. And it also does a better job with blue light filtering. So if you're using your phone at night, it's just gonna be a lot easier to go to sleep. Now the cameras, I'm not expecting huge upgrades. It's gonna be a lot like the Galaxy S20 Ultra. You're gonna have four cameras on the back. You're gonna have that crazy 100 times zoom. But one thing they are changing is they're getting rid of the time of flight sensor. This is gone, say goodbye, because it was terrible on the S20 Ultra when it came to autofocusing. Even with all the software updates, like one, that this thing has gotten, it's still terrible. So apparently Samsung is gonna use laser autofocus instead, and that should improve the autofocusing because whenever someone asks me like, Matt, hey, you, big guy, should I buy the S20 Ultra? I always say don't, it's a waste of money. The camera experience is terrible, and you're buying a phone that really doesn't provide any more value than the S20 or S20 Plus. Go with one of those instead. So if they fix this on the Note 20 Ultra, improve the camera experience overall, I think that's a big deal. Now I'm expecting fantastic battery life with the Note 20 Ultra, like 5,000 milliamps is the rumored battery size. You pair this with the display that gets better power consumption and a more efficient sock. It should get you through a day and a half without any issues. The other thing to note is that this display size is being bumped up from 6.8 to 6.9. So if you don't like big phones, you're definitely not gonna like the Note 20 Ultra. Now one thing I am curious is whether or not it's going to have 120 Hertz at QHD. The reason why the Galaxy S lineup, according to NN Tech, doesn't have 120 hertz at QHD has nothing to do with battery life, but more to do with display bandwidth. OnePlus has decided to go with a Samsung display that has a dual lane MIPI interface, which provides enough bandwidth for 120 hertz at QHD. Samsung is using a single lane MIPI interface, which doesn't have the bandwidth to do 120 hertz at QHD. And according to some of the more credible leakers out there, the Note 20 Plus is not gonna be able to do it. Anyways, I'm excited for the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, but the question still remains whether or not is it actually worth it for most people. And I think it comes down to the same thing we talk about every single year. If you're not an S Pen user, the Galaxy S20 and the S20 Plus will make a lot more sense. And not only that, these phones have already been heavily discounted. And when the Note 20 Ultra comes out, I'm expecting more sales to happen with these devices. Let me know what you think of the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. If you wanna chat, you wanna know anything about tech in general, I'm on Twitch every second night, or you can hit me up on Discord. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video.